You are watching Market Watch, the brief overview of the key events from the world of finance. The recovery of global markets proved to be short-lived. On Tuesday, amid another weak economic data from China, sentiment on Asian stock exchanges worsened. These events have created mixed forecasts for the opening of European trading. The course of trading today will be influenced by data on wage growth and unemployment in the UK, reflected in inflation expectations and final German inflation data for August. A decrease in inflationary pressure in the UK may pave the way for new rate cuts by the Bank of England. However, a rate cut next week may come as a surprise to the market, since at the moment, the probability of such a move is expected to be only within 25 basis points. At the same time, the US Federal Reserve is also preparing for its meeting next week. Here, a 25 basis point rate cut is almost inevitable, but the final decision on a possible 50 basis point cut will depend on US inflation data, which will be published on Wednesday. Until now, the published statistics related to the United States economy have not given the markets a clear understanding of the scale of the Fed's actions next week. At the same time, the probability of a rate cut by 50 basis points decreased, which put pressure on the indices and strengthened the US dollar. Meanwhile, in the US political arena, the focus is on Tuesday's televised debate between Democrat Kamala Harris and Republican Donald Trump. The VIX volatility index is at around 20, which is above the 2024 average of 14.8. As Bank of America statistics show, during election years, the VIX usually rises by 25% from July to November. However, political concerns are intertwined with other factors this year, such as concerns about a possible slowdown in the US economy and uncertainty about how much the Federal Reserve will have to cut interest rates. And now to the crypto market. Bitcoin sellers are faced with support located below the $53,500 mark, which we talked about yesterday. Quotes have risen, but it is too early to consider the movement a turning point. Perhaps we will be able to observe the development of the situation only after the publication of the decision of the US Federal Reserve next week. In the near future, a price delay at current levels is likely. That's all I have. Follow the news carefully and be prepared for all the surprises of the market.